What is up guys, it's your boy Bando back at it with another video. So welcome back to CT Drag. And today we're gonna be working on Boosted Becky again. Now, I'm sorry for the, like, I've been slacking on videos, bro. I've just been dealing with a lot of shit. I've been real tired. And I've just been saving, honestly. There's a lot of shit coming to the channel. Car-wise, the EK-wise. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. I got this new little garage now too. So this is where we're gonna be shooting videos. At like Hector's car, Evan's car, fucking Randy when he finally fucking comes over here because he's like allergic to this like, garage or something. I don't know what it is, man. Just come to the house, please, one time. But um, so today we don't have anything like crazy planned because I don't think we're gonna be able to bolt it. But I got a couple of things for the interior of the car. But as you can see as well, the motor is driving very very healthy. You know what I mean, like. There was no smoking, no breaking up, like the car drove perfect, so we're good. But before I take it to tune, when the day comes, because I'm still, it's pretty much ready for a tune, but there's a, a lot of other things that I want to do to it before I even get it tuned. Like the intake manifold, I ordered an intake manifold that should be in within a couple of days or a couple of weeks. I'll put you guys on to that, because not a lot of people know about it. And then just like little shit, because I got a lot of parts over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, right over there in that little cubby it'll focus but um there's a lot of parts there so today what we're gonna end up doing is doing the interior and i'll show you guys what i got all right as you guys can remember from the last video the interior looked like shit i was trying to put the radio we're having an issue right now where the radio is not getting power so i gotta rewire all of that i also took off i don't know if you guys remember before also my cluster would flicker on and off all the lights would the headlights the blinkers all that stuff was and uh, it was because I had a, a mobilizer problem where the alarm was still on and it just malfunctioned. So the car would just keep doing that flickering shit. And it would run kind of shitty. The car would run fine, but you could feel like it was like there was more to it. But at the same time, the car needs to be tuned anyway. So it's just like whatever. So this is what the interior looks like. Can you turn it on? What? Can you turn it on? We'll turn it on a little bit. So this is what the interior looks like. And we're going to fix that today. We got everything for the interior other than like the radio like i said we're gonna have to do that a separate time because i just want to put the car together just to see what it looks like there's also little pieces that i'm missing that are coming in the mail and so this is what we got so far so we've got dx gray matching interior with the inside manual if you guys own a manual ek like the the windows you know how hard and what how much of a pain in the ass it is to find these shits manual so we got that, and then we also got a red bucket seat from PLM. I don't know if it's going to catch it or not. Yeah, PLM, so it's an official bucket seat. And uh, we also, let me see the center console. I bought this radio, because I thought the original problem was that the radio that was in it, or the one that I had, the little singleton, was bad, but it really wasn't. That one was fine. It's just something with the wiring. I just got to go through it. I think it might be the radio fuse, so I'll change that, see what it does but we'll save that for another day i just want to put the interior inside and i think we probably have a couple other pieces that we're actually going to put but i don't know yet let's just get started with putting the car back together these were also the two missing pieces that i was talking or three missing pieces i was talking about the actual seat bracket i had it off of ebay for like 150 bucks it's almost like the nrg one it's probably like a replica but everything mounts up oh 140 there you go i don't know if it's going to pick it up Come on, focus. All right, so it was 140. Then I got the brackets. I think these were like 40 bucks, actually. And we're going to see if everything works out. 
If not, I'm going to be kind of pissed. And then I also got the window handles because mines were bad. And I'm in the process of switching out these motors. Or not motors, but the regulators. But what ended up happening was they sent me the wrong regulator. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm probably not going to do it now. Because I want to at least get to see how the car looks with everything together. You know what I mean? I want to get an image of it. So it keeps me motivated. So I'm going to probably cut this right up. Oh this right here like just the edge enough bat take the tips from the other side because these are like really stripped there's nothing that's gonna grab it and i'm not using fucking pliers that's ghetto well the end of that nobody would even tell google me google me all right so a couple minutes passed my fault a couple minutes passed by i put the window regulator back on because remember earlier it was sitting kind of sideways so now we're gonna put the door panels and then we'll start to putting together the bucket seat with the brackets and everything. I can't wait, man. This shit is about to look so good. So good. Ugly as fuck. Wow. Hater. What does it say here? I heart hate. Haters. Fucking hater. Bitch. <laughs> All right, guys. Hold on. Let it focus. Let it focus. Let it focus. Ooh, there's my pretty face. Yeah, your boy need a haircut. Bad. Like shaggy, bro. Don't listen to him. Well, anyways. So, we did the little work that we did in such a short time, and it already improved the car's looks by a shit ton. Like, it, it looks, looks so looks much like better. Room. It looks like a car now. So, we put on the door panels. Everything's on there. We just got to clean them up. They're a little dirty. So we're sitting outside. I have that whole side done. Put the panels from down here. I'm just missing. Actually, I'm missing the one from that side. And the little. If anybody has that little piece to sit there, the little handle or whatever you want to call it. The put. I don't know what to call it, but if you got it, send your boy one. I need one, please. Same color, if possible. Is I'm gonna put on the radio real fast. Nothing too fancy. Got a Walmart uh, radio, Pioneer, and then I also have the dash kit over here. Bang, Walmart special. I think I paid like 140 for the the whole thing, this and the radio. So let me put that together real quick, and then we'll start assembling the bucket seat, which you guys really want to see. Yeah, feel me. All right, so the double den is in. Everything's pretty much put together. Took me a couple minutes to figure it out. Uh, let's just hope I have the bolts to bolt everything up. If not, we'll continue this for the next day. But so far, I'm pretty happy with how the car came out. Like the car's actually looking like a car again. Everything's all put back together. And now to just put on the seat. So let me see if I can figure it out and then I'll show you guys how to do it. Cause it's pretty much, I think all the bucket seats and shit are pretty much all the same. Don't quote me on that. Don't hold me on that. I mean, because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost 100% sure. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, when you guys come back and unlock the door, West Coast Customs. Yeah, feel me. All right, so we got the brackets and everything working the right way. Everything's set up. We're looking good, man. I'm missing the hardware. We're coming to, like, just saying F it, but it looks pretty damn cool. Hold this. So what you gonna do with it? So what you gonna do with it? It's a good setting. This should sit way too far. Just to come up. Can't reach the little man. Two thousand years later. <sighs> this view is just so perfect, so beautiful. So this is day numero dos. It got really late. I was tired. Didn't really feel like messing with the car. Plus, I had to go do something, so. Yeah. 
But anyways, we're back in the EK coupe. We're gonna finish up the seat. Fits pretty good. Definitely after sitting in it, I definitely have to make some adjustments. I definitely have to raise the seat up and push it forward because you know your boy's kind of short. Your boy's like your boy five is short. I may look like I'm, I'm tall on camera, but bro, Why I'm short as fuck. All right, so let's get right into this video. All right, so this is why we're going to uh, Home Depot to get the hard. Uh, excuse me, the hardware from here. Get a couple washers, stack them up so that it could raise the seat a little bit more. But like I said, I'm short, so we're gonna have to actually take this bracket right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. The bracket right here, the actual seat bracket, and push it forward so your boy can touch the pedals because I don't reach them. It's not funny, Randy. Stop laughing at me. I know you're watching this video like, ah, this nigga short. So uh, let me adjust this real fast, see how it fits, and then we'll go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and get some hardware. I try to call the auto parts store, but they don't really carry these bolts, so. And I don't have spares. So let's go from there. Well, it might look like I don't have to go to Home Depot. Your boy might have everything here. So I found these little washers. They're not wa little spacers, whatever you want to call them. They were, they're pretty much the things that hold your OEM seat belts in place. Found those, I found four of them. So I think I'm gonna use those as a spacer and I actually found the bolts to the floor so we don't gotta leave we can just do everything here and just bang it out my fault if the camera's everywhere dude i'm like i'm in it dude i love this shit this car is coming together i'm getting really excited and there's so many more parts that are coming in man i'm putting you on to mad shit that nobody put me on to parts wise all that information wise where to get it from all that all that all that all that cheapest all that so man if you're still watching keep it Give me a like, man. Like that shit at the bottom, please. And share that shit. Pretty soon, we're gonna do a giveaway. And we'll talk about that more in a different video. Just not this video, but I gotta plan it better. There's a lot of shit that I'm gonna give out. Like, parts that I have that I don't need anymore. So, uh, let me put the spacers on this. I'll show you guys how to do it. And we'll install it. We should be popping. It should be on today. So, let's get it. All right, so the issue we're having now is that these bolts that I have to hold the bracket to the actual the actual seat bracket to the actual brackets that bolts up to the actual bucket seat are way too short. These spacers are way too big. So we still have to go to Home Depot. But that's nothing. So we'll go real fast and then popping. Oh, yeah, we popping. We got the hardware. Uh-huh. I'll show you how I'm going to install these. Figure out a better way. And... bad boys right here uh, they have the little weird hex end or whatever it's called this shit if it'll focus man yo this camera's been ass well anyways it's got the hex so i can use my uh snap-on drill i just gotta charge it i don't gotta buy no more drills so uh i'll see you guys when i get back to the house oh peep the drip hold up oh 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 Oh, pretty much what I'm doing is we're taking this bolt, right? Putting it through, taking this nut, put it on there so it lifts it up like if it was a spacer, and then put another nut on top of it just to lock it in place. So I will actually do it. I will speed this thing up, and you guys can see the afters of it, I guess, or whatever you want. All right, also because none of these holes lined up from the seat being so pushed forward, I got to drill my own holes just so I could put the bracket through. But other than that, that's pretty much all it is. I put the washer right here the way it's supposed to go. All right, two washers to hold it up, but not on the back of it to hold it tight. Done like that on both sides. And like that, it will pick up or it will raise the seat up because my seat is sitting way too low, bro. Like my arm, my shoulder is like the fucking edge of this shit is like, all the way to fuck up here so let me do that real fast get the bolts in and we'll throw the whole seat in the car go from there Ugh. 
All right, guys, so the seat is in, harnesses are all in. I'm gonna attempt to drive it to uh, my boy's ties shop. So I gotta pick something up over there and then we'll drive this baby back and go from there. So, dude, I'm really enjoying how the inside of this car is coming on. Look at how good that shit looks. I'm sitting pretty high, you know, sitting pretty close to the steering wheel. I fixed it, the washers did work. And doing the shit that I did by pushing it forward helped a lot. So, yeah, let's see if this bitch will start. What is up guys? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's really late. I'm tired. I just finished editing like three videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys like the sneak peek that I uh, slipped in the video. And uh, the car's performing pretty good. It looks pretty good. The seat's awesome. Like, I'm loving it. But um, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to get some rest, dude. I'm tired, dude. Uh, I'm at it here. Hope you like the video, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Share, 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 guys. We're at already 713 subscribers. We're almost at 1,000. Once we get 1,000, there's a couple parts that I'm going to start raffling off. So we can start doing stuff like that as well. But uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Love you guys. CT Drag Fam. To the next one. Gang.